Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. And we have a product to arrive today. I know I promised you something would come in. And, uh, yep, it's my new unboxing knife. Which we could have used to unbox this knife. But, obviously we didn't get a chance. I'll show you how bad the front looks now. A little scotch tape here and there. The knife was in kind of like that. Yeah. Sitting like so. And, uh, sure. And back there, you'll find all the warranty and safety rules for using it. Uh, this is what they call a uh, well, it's, uh, first off, it's a number one spare it's frame mini yeah. clip folding knife. It is very small, got some holes, doesn't weigh a, a thing. It's a Gerber. Out of Portland, Oregon. Um, there's a clip. You can stick it on your belt if you must have a clip. Um, would have been cool to have this previous to that, but we didn't. So uh, let's do the intro and I'll talk about what I like about the knife and my first impressions of it. Let's just say I haven't cut off any fingers yet. All right, folks, and so we're back. You're probably wondering, why did I get an unbox knife? Well, frankly, I was tired of other folks on the internet going, do you need to get a sharper knife? You couldn't hardly cut through those seals. And they're right. The other knives I have are dull as hell. But now I have to run out and still buy, uh, what do you call it, a sharpening stone that this didn't come with. But it was only $10, two cents. Check the link in the description below to get one of these on Prime. Came in at 9.24 this morning, and even though I put in the delivery instructions, leave on front porch they put it at the other end of the block so i had to wait like two hours for a friend to drive me down there i can't walk that far uh my legs are swollen but, well you don't care all right so is it a good knife yep so why are we buying an unboxing knife all of a sudden well that's because we're dumping the Huawei D30 light. I'm pretty much done testing it. Battery holds up pretty well. It works, but for me, it's got too many glitches. Now, as a budget phone, your grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, a couple of kids, 128 gig, more than enough. You don't need that expandable storage. But it sure would have been nice if they set it up so you could use it as internal storage. You know, because I got that 256 gig. Still can't do it on the phone we're filming on, which I still find to be absolute horseshit. Thank you, Samsung. Fix that. Uh, it's our phone. We bought it. We should be able to set it up any way we want. Uh, Portable storage is wondrous. Uh, well, it's totally unneeded. Uh, most people are. Most people want to set it up as internal storage. 99.9999% except your grandparents and your kids and everyone else who knows nothing about phones. I mean, it's the first phone. That's what we do here, budget 
pots. And this is a budget knife. So I am going to order a sharpening stone. And I'm going to get back to looking for another phone. Uh, over at uh, uh, Amazon. Something cheap. You know, $150, but none of the really cheap crap. Right now, Uma Digi Power's on my list. And I'll just keep poking around. And the moment I sell off the Huawei, which I'm only, I'm asking $185. That includes the shipping, so $195 plus tax. Uh, and of course, I'll come down on that a little bit, not much, because they're getting a the Rinky case and the Orzero. The last remaining soft film uh, screen protector I have out yeah, of the three pack. But the rinky case right there is $12.99. So if you add that in with the $185, or like the lowest price I've seen is $175, including shipping. But let's add it in $175. 185, 26, 187, and now you're, yeah, and there you sit. And I've already went through the hassle of putting the uh, front screen protector on the uh, or zero, you know, or, or zero onto the Huawei. So it's there. They got a screen protector. I put it in the sun yesterday. And uh, there's like two very tiny bubbles near the bottom, but they keep getting closer and closer. Uh, they'll eventually come out of there, just like they said they would. Um, so that's all I have. If you folks have any ideas about a cheap phone that I should test. Nothing on, nothing dirt cheap. I am not buying a piece of crap. I mean, the Huawei at 220 had a glass back, glass front. Whoa, glass frame. Better than the phone we're filming on, which is plastic. Uh, both are 128s. And I, I, never mind. We're not going to get into Samsung's total F up on not being able to format it, uh, you know, internal storage. Because uh, you can't buy it with 256. So why would you ever want to prevent folks from doing that? I don't know, maybe in the next update I'll fix it. But there's plenty of storage on the other one, on the Huawei. Uh, screen is bright, sharp, takes good photos. Battery life is excellent. And I just got done. I got it all boxed up with all the plastic, all the stuff right back where it was. And then I remembered, ah, shit. I forgot to reset it to factory defaults. And of course I did. Well, on that note, read the description below. You can still, I'm not saying the P30 Lite is bad in any way. I'm just saying, if you know what you're doing, remember, but we're trying, you know, this is a, a phone you're giving to somebody for their first phone or a phone you don't care if they drop it or you know because you're used to buying apples you think a four hundred dollar phone is budget and you're out of your mind uh, and then you think a thousand dollar phone is budget you're out of your mind also you can have FaceTime so uh all that being said, uh, like, share this page, 
Oh, and leave feedback and tell us what you think I should order and test. No, I'll go as high as 160. Yeah, somewhere in the 140 to 160 range. Uh, the Umidigi is looking good. At 150 or so. Um, they've gotten better. They don't put fake cameras on them anymore. Uh, it's a pretty good phone, folks. And, hell, who knows? It could be my daily driver someday. Uh, you're not getting an AMOLED like this thing has. But, uh, let's just say, thanks for watching again. Please like, share, subscribe, and absolutely share this with your friends, your relatives, your grandmama, and, uh, Subscribe to our channel for more, in this case, kind of useless info, but, oh, and the funniest thing is Gerber is a, a brand out of uh, Portland, Oregon, right? Number one selling knife in the world with a clip. Okay, fantastic. Where do you think it's made? China. <laughs> China. All right. Have a great day, folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Uh, maybe in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? If I sell that Huawei tonight, and my experience on Swapa is within an hour or two, I will have uh, uh, some lights on it. When at $195, including shipping, and maybe 185 if you want me to knock the shipping off. You know, as long as you're nearby and live in North America. Catch you in the next one. Uh, later. Bye.